actually met Professor Nar um, randomly at dinner at Hello. And he mentioned that he was Sephardic, and I kind of chimed in on the conversation. I was like, oh, you know, me too. And we got to talking, and he asked what my family's maiden name was. And I was like, oh, we're the Tatchers. And he's like, Tatcher, that's familiar. They used to be the Levies. And I was like, yeah, why do you know that? And we got to talking, and he started telling me about Albert Levy and all these texts that they had and this whole entire project they were doing. And he invited me to come help look at them and scan them. I went to him after, and I was like, can I do more with this? Can I maybe learn to read it or something else? And so um, from there... Um, he helped me start to learn it, and that just kind of grew into this big project um, over the past almost four years. Uh, you know, a lighthouse is kind of, it's a beacon of light. It sort of draws your eyes to things. It brings things to your attention, and that's exactly what I felt like he was doing with his works. And so that, that lighthouse just seemed very representative of him, and it just also happened to be the name of one of the papers that he had worked for. When I was looking at Albert Levy's texts, a lot of them, they were very diverse. They were mostly all written in verse, but... Um, they had very different topics. The first one I read was a history one. It was about the Jews being expelled from Spain and being welcomed in the Ottoman Empire. But then there were also ones that were about morality or about, you know, education. And El Banquete de la Comunidad was about the Sephardic Jews having come to America and the, just the Sephardic Brotherhood. It was one of their meetings and kind of how, how much they'd grown and how, how much they'd helped to unite their community, but how that was still something they were working on. And I think that that was really powerful because that's part of not only what the Sephardic Brotherhood was intended to do, but also the fact that like that's kind of what this exhibit is supposed to help do is kind of bring back together all these different Sephardic communities. The Sephardic Jews have been through so much. Um, they've worked so hard, you know, from every place they've been to, from Spain to Salonika to here, um, that it's really important to preserve those traditions and that culture and that language as part of it. And I think that that's the big takeaway from Albert Levy's works is that we need to carry that on today still.